my youngest granddaughter will turn four on the anniversary of the 19th Amendment being passed nationally. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I will be voting for the next generation, because we impact the next generation. My name is Sheila Lopez. I am Navajo and Mexican American. My name is Gisela and I'm the proud parent of a queer kid. Uh, my name is Whitees. My name is Santis, and I am mother to a trans masculine child. My name is Paul Woldridge. I'm a father of two LGBTQ kids. I am uh, Dr. Marilyn D. Willis. I am the parent of a black transgender woman. My name is William Plasek. I'm a gay male. I live in Jersey, along the Jersey Shore. I am the father of two beautiful sons who are biracial. Hey, my name is Maricela Rodriguez, and I am the proud mother of a gay man. My name is Kathy Godwin, and I am the president of the PFLAG National Board, and I'm the mom of a gay son. It's so sad when I talk to someone and they say, well, my vote doesn't count. Well, your vote does count. If you like the way things are, then you must vote. If you don't like how things are, you must vote. What if a million people individually thought, what change can I make? What if the million people realize that yes, your one vote can count and it does matter. That's, that's, a, that's so powerful. Votes have turned tables. I vote because my ancestors could not vote. Native Americans um, didn't get the right to vote in all states until 1962. I'm voting for my daughter Raquel. She's black, transgender woman, and all other LGBTQ plus people. I'm voting in November 2020 because every vote counts. In 2020, yo voy a votar porque las vidas trans negras importan. I'm voting because I want to make sure that I get equality for my biracial family. In 2020, I'm voting because my vote counts to make change. In 2020, I'm voting because I will honor those who could not vote. In 2020, I'm voting because I want my son to live life to the fullest by enjoying total freedom and equality in all phases of his life as a gay man. It's important to put together a plan. Some of the things you can do are, first know, what's the earliest date? I can vote. Make sure that you are registered to vote and make sure that you have a current ID. You can vote by mail. Or the option to vote in person. I will be voting in person, of course, with my mask on. Know where your polling place is. You can make sure that you have transportation to the polls. Bring what your state requires to the polls. Pick a date and time. You be my date. <laughs> so I'm here to ask every single person to make sure that they get out and vote this election. This, this is, is my, my 2020 vote plan. plan. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? And I ask you to go to pflag.org forward slash 2020 vote plan and then be part of our challenge and then post to your social media plan saying hashtag 2020 vote plan. <laughs>